Hello, and welcome to Sierra Hobbies. In this video I'm scratch building a 1 7 scale ESP, M2 electric guitar. Firstly I'll start off by downloading a dimensional drawing of the guitar off the internet. Once I have found one, I'll save it to my desktop. I'll open it up in 3D print, and resize the picture to the scale I want. This is the printout and it will be the actual size of the model. It's approximately 1 7th scale which measures 150 mm. I'll use the printout as a template and draw the guitar body onto the 2 mm plywood sheet. I'll cut out four pieces and glue them together. This will make up the 6 mm thick guitar body. I'll roughly file down around the edges. You need to cut out the neck opening on two of the pieces. These pieces will be the top two sheets. This is where the guitar neck will be glued Glue one side on each piece and spread the glue evenly, then fit them together, making sure that the two pieces with the cutout are on top. Clamp them together and let it dry for a good few hours. Once the glue has dried, start filing around the edges. You can use a rotary tool, but take it easy, because you can easily rip out chunks of wood. Mark out for the arm rest and hip profile. I just roughly copied from a photo of the guitar. Just keep checking the profile with reference pictures until you are happy with the shape. Use the template to mark out the neck and headstock, and cut these out. You'll need to do a cutout on the 2mm ply and craft stick. This will make up about 4mm thickness of the neck and stock. On the craft stick, mark out the length of the neck, and at both ends mark a center point and draw a line through the center. 
Mark 6 mm at one end and 8 mm at the other. Then draw a line from the 8 mm point to the 6 mm point. Then cut the piece out and then do the same on the 2 mm ply sheet. Glue the two neck pieces together. And then do the same for the head stock. File down and shape the neck, so that you end up with a half moon shape profile. Leave about 8 mm at the end flat, where this connects to the guitar body. Shape and file the stock until it matches the template. Then lay it down onto the diagram to mark out the angle that has to be filed. So it fits to the nut end of the neck. Then glue these together. Check that the neck is straight and level. Using scrap pieces of polystyrene from a model kit, measure and cut out pieces for the pickups, and file and shape them.
I made the tremolo bridge out of PE scraps and some plastic pieces from spare parts. I measured, then cut out the shape with the rotary tool, and bent and shaped to match the real thing. Then I made the tremolo, or whammy bar out of some wire, and bent it to match. This particular model guitar has a through neck. So you need to sand and file around the guitar body and neck. If you just want to keep it as a bolt on neck, then you don't have to do this part. I mixed a diluted mixture of Tamiya's plastic putty, to a thick paint consistency, and brushed all around the edges, and wherever I needed to fill in holes. Then I would let it dry and hardened, then sand it down. I had to do this process a few times. I had to pay particular attention around the neck and body. I gave a coat of primer to see what imperfections I had to concentrate on. I would do this a few times until I was satisfied with the results. There was a small part on the edge that was showing the end grain of the wood through the paint, so I had to apply more plastic putty on this and sand it down. So, now it's ready to paint. I'll use Tamiya's LP2 white for the base coat.
I used some cabinet door veneer edging for the fretboard. I used the template to cut out the piece and filed the edges to fit the guitar neck. I then stained it using Tamiya's black panel liner. There's an adhesive on the back of the veneer that needs to be filed off. I checked the fit, and then filed more until it was okay. I made a template so I could line up the fret markings and keep them straight using a square. I then scribed each fret line onto the veneer. Careful not to cut too deep. I cut pieces of 26 gauge wire for the frets, and glued them into place. There are 24 frets. After the glue had dried, I trimmed off the excess wire with a cutter. Next, I masked up the guitar for the painting. The first color over the white base I used Tamiya's X17 pink. Then I masked over the pink for the next color, Tamiya's X16, purple. I then finally removed all the masking, and masked up for the black pattern. I drew the pattern, and cut out the piece, then used the negative cutout over the guitar body. After the paint had dried, I then applied four coats of clear gloss. I let the clear dry and harden for 48 hours. Then I sanded down with Tamiya's 3000 sanding sponge. Then polished it with fine polishing compound.
I glued the fretboard down with PVA wood glue and positioned it and then clamped it, and let it dry. I made the other pieces out of bits of plastic and photo etched parts, for the lock nut, tuning keys, lead input jack, back cover plates, and volume control. I used the template to line up, and glue the pickups into place. I glued the input jack, and the back cover plates. Using very fine gauge wire, I cut six pieces just as long as the guitar. I then thread them through the pre-drilled holes in the tremolo. Grab the ends of the wire and twist them together, and then use a pair of pliers to wind them fairly tight. Cut off the excess wire. Using a rotary tool, you'll need to route out a rebate for the wound-up wire end to sit in properly. Glue the tremolo in place, making sure it's sitting flush with the guitar body. Then using 1mm screws, screw it down. Taking the top wire, pull it taut as you wind it around the headstock screw, and then work your way down. Once you have connected all the wires, carefully tighten up the head screws, to take out the slack on the wires.
then trim off the excess wire. Glue the locking nut cover onto the nut end of the fretboard. Attach the whammy bar into the pre-drilled hole. Don't glue it. Let it move. Now using 1mm screws for the guitar strap hooks. Carefully drill a small hole in the back edge of the guitar body and at the top end as well. Position and glue down the volume knob. Attach the tuning keys at the back of the headstock over the pre-drilled holes. Well, that's another end to my video, I hope you liked it. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching and look out for my other videos.